Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's Kiana Charisse and today I'm here with a fashion haul. Actually a pretty special one. This is Sarah Ray Vargas's collab with Fashion to Figure. I don't know why I said her last name like that. <laughs> but this is her third or fourth one, the summer collection. I have the first outfit on now. I'll tell you about that later, of course. I did review her last collection on my channel if you want to check that out. But first, 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 I'm trying to film in my living room. Um, I don't know if this is a good idea, but I decided it like right as soon as I saw that I got the package delivered, I was like, let me do a change of scenery, switch it up. Didn't give myself time to clean anything. So, I mean, if you see mess, no, you don't. But Sarah is a YouTuber, content creator, been over here for years. I really like her channel and her vlogs. I really enjoy her content and I've been subscribed for years. So I wanted to support this collection. So she has a video on her channel talking about the items in the collection, which I'm gonna link down below, which is of course gonna have more information than I'm about to give. But yeah, I wanted to just link to her channel and that video. If you wanna see more about the items, check that out. At this point, a lot of stuff is sold out, but not everything. I just got my package like two hours ago and I'm trying to get this up by tomorrow, which be which would be July 6th. So there's some stuff left, but like not a whole lot, honestly. But this collection is really good. So I know I was gonna support, I was thinking about getting, you know, two to four things to get and, you know, review on my channel, talk about them, show them off, but I was struggling to narrow my cart down. Like it was, it was, it was high up there. And I said, I can't do it. So I brought it back down. So I have, I think five, five or six outfits to show you today. So that means some of them are two pieces. So I think it's more like closer to nine to 10 pieces. This first outfit that I'm gonna show you in a second, I actually saw this one in Sarah's campaign video. And this one, it just looks so good on her. Like if I was her, if you're watching, the one with just you or the one with Luigi, and she had the blonde money pieces, like tendrils. And it was something about the blonde with her eye color and this color, it was it was working. Like I would absolutely frame that one because that was, that was a good photo for sure. So I wanted to try that outfit on first because I normally wouldn't buy necessarily a body, yeah, it's kind of a body con skirt. I wouldn't normally buy this. So I was like, if I'm gonna be disappointed, I'd rather do this first. So at Fashion to Figure, on average, I wear a two, I guess some things in a one and some things in a three. Between a 16 and 20, honestly, based on how I'm feeling and how much stretch it has, okay? So let's start off with this and hope you can hear me. <laughs> so this is the strapless tie front, which I got in a one, and the mermaid maxi skirt, which I got in a two. Now I'm gonna link everything down below, of course, but I forgot to tell you as far as undergarments, I'm pretty much gonna try everything on bra list. I have some nipple covers on. Um, and if I feel like I really need a bra, I'll grab it, but that's why I'm starting. And I have on like these briefs from Savage X. I don't think they're that noticeable in most fabrics, but yeah, they kind of, they're not, I guess I would call them, sh which one's higher, shaping or smoothing? The lower one, like they just do a, they kind of hold me together but they're not like sucking me in basically. So that's what I'm using to try these outfits on with. So no bra, just nipple covers, unless I need a bra, or I'll tell you that I need a bra if I don't feel like actually getting a bra. So the top is basically a tube top. It has a tie in the front, which is a sort of functional tie. Like it's sewn in the back here, but you can tie it kind of loose and it'll be like this, or you could tie it tight and give yourself more cleavage if you wanted to. I'm not 100% sure if my face is in the frame because <laughs> the video is blocking it. Um, but that doesn't matter. You just need to see the clothes. So I'm gonna tie that back up, kind of ugly. But yeah, do better than that. But that's it. And the back is a zipper. Um, I did pull it over my head because it is quite stretchy. And it also has like these white bands that help it stay up. But I definitely need this in a two because the zipper was like, no, thank you. So I do need this in a two. But I also think it would have stayed if there was a hook and eye closure at the top, honestly. So yeah, if you're on the edge, maybe size up. And I got the skirt in a two to try to give myself just a little bit more room when it comes to body cons. And I, depending on the fit, if this could be... 
I could either do a two or a three. So like the two is gonna give me this more fitted look, but I think a three would give me a little more room, but it would also go up probably higher. You probably would be able to tell that this is a two piece set and I want to be able to tell that. I don't mind if it's connected in the back, but I like, I actually like showing off this little top part of my belly. So um, I don't know if I would get a three or not, but this is also quite stretchy. Um, it's like, it's a nice material actually. Cause it's like, it's gripping me like in kind of like a sexy way, but it still feels stretchy. Like I could move in this if I want to. Mm. Stop. Also, I am 5'4". I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get to the ground in these videos. Sorry about that. No, this is as far as I can go. It's on the floor about, it's about two to three inches on the floor, but I'm barefoot right now. And as I walk, it's not getting caught. It's just kind of kicking up, so it's fine. And if I were to wear like some heels or something, it would probably be right at the ground. So it's a good length for me. But overall, this is a really pretty outfit. I love the color. I love. I actually love this color. This is one of my favorite colors. And I think the material just feels, it feels nice. So this, is, this might sound weird, but I like the way stockings feel. Like they make me feel kind of sexy. And that's what I'm getting from this material, the way it's kind of holding me. I'm getting like stockings. <laughs> this is, other than, you know, the back, I would I would definitely recommend a hook and eye closure because it would hold, but otherwise I would need to get a size two. And yeah, is there anything about myself I'm supposed to say? I told you I'm 5'4", told you I wear a size two, give or take. That's all I have to say, right? <laughs> And this is why I moved out here to be closer to my air conditioning, which hopefully you can't hear because I don't know what it is about try on hauls, but I just be fighting for my life. We're only on outfit one. Let me go get the outfit two. <laughs> Actually, I'm back because I would be remiss to not tell you that it's only a bodycon to the knees. Then it flares out into like a mermaid skirt. And I didn't say that. I don't know how I didn't say that, but it just it's just fitted to the knees and then it flares out. My hair being down was only gonna last one outfit, but I am back precariously. Well, actually I'm just gonna hold this together because first we're gonna talk about the shorts and then we'll talk about the shirt. So what are these shorts called? We got, we also have a tag here. So the tags say, let me get a little closer. It has her um, SRV times FTF. Hopefully you can see that good. That's on the tags. And it's also on the tag that's inside of the item. So these are the cinched waist, cinched waist, hold on, what? Cinched waist short? It's abbreviated, so that, that makes sense. Anyways, they're kind of like a paper bag short. And yeah, it's like a paper bag. And I was really undecided if I should get the 18 or the 20, because a lot of times I get 18 in like true plus jeans, but shorts always feel like I need to size up. So I thought about buying both sizes just to try them on, but I didn't, I just got the 20. And I'm pretty happy with the 20. I do have a lot of room as far as like, they're super stretchy. Whatever this waistband is made out of, like I was, I had no issues buttoning this. Like this was so stretchy. I definitely could squeeze into a smaller size. I just don't know if I need a smaller size, right? We have pockets, like deep pockets all the way in. Your big ass phone can go in there. Um, the inseam, they're not quite short shorts, but they're short for me. I don't really do super shorts, so they're kind of like, I would probably still do some sort of anti-chafing cream for this little two inches, if you can see. Little two inches right here, they're still touching, so I'll probably put something on that, but they're actually a pretty comfortable length and a pretty comfortable short because they are so stretchy. Oh, so I'm gonna show you the back. Now, I definitely don't have enough back here to fill these out. If you got more more behind than me, you got you got room, because I don't have any. So that would be the only reason, I gotta stop my hair. <laughs> that would be the only reason I would get an 18 is because I definitely have fabric. I just have to decide my ankle crack. The 20 on me goes up sort of high. I could probably pull them up just a smidge higher. So they would look good with like a bodysuit or a crop top, whatever you wanna do. I feel like with this type of short, you don't wanna 
wasted and wear like a t-shirt that goes all the way down because then it's like what's the point of all of this you know okay so this is the tie front top i got it in a one and definitely need a two um this is a functional tie i don't want to move my hands too much because i don't know what's going to happen in the back you can kind of see that's really where i need the room like the back could be wider it's no stretch so that's also why i need a size up but the arms actually to be i guess a little too small they're not tight at all they're really comfortable i also have big arms so the arms are super comfortable but for this oh hold on for this to work i would need a size up and also um i guess like some fabric tape or something to tape the fabric to my chest because if i just let this go open it's very much an open shirt so yeah i think the design of the shirt is super cute the fruits are it's giving summer i think it's really cute and i'm gonna see if they have a size up in this one but you know what I haven't really gotten many negative comments since I've been online this past year, but actually in the video where I reviewed Sarah's last collection, I saw my video got posted on Lipstick Alley and I never addressed it because it wasn't like a big deal, but someone on there was saying that I don't know my size basically and I was just like, it just kind of caught me off guard because you could say that if I was just like, oh, this one just doesn't fit, then they don't know what they're doing, I have no problem getting a size up. So how do you say I don't know my size? Because I'll go buy the size that fits. If I messed up the first time, I'll go back. So what are you saying? I don't know. I never addressed that. That happened that was like six months ago. Anyways, but speaking of sizes, I don't know if this is new, but I saw that items on the site go up to a 4X and they, they did used to. So that's new. I'm not sure if it's every item, but they have been adding 4Xs on the site. They used to just go up to a 3X. So yay. All right, I'm back with a new top. I just kept the shorts on. I didn't get the bottoms that went with this top because they just didn't make the cut. So but I think this top is really cute. So this is one of those tops where if I was like on vacation, I would go braless, but I probably would wear a bra to be if I went to the store because this one's giving a lot more me, okay? Uh, <laughs> So this is also in a size one, um, but it's also no stretch. So I'm kind of on the fence, but let me tell you about it. First of all, we have these big sleeves. Love that for me. This is a nice airy top. If you're going to be somewhere that's like really hot, you can get a good breeze up in here. Um, here's the drawstring part. So you can make it tighter like this, which if you're wearing a bra, this gives you a little bit more hold kind of or you can pull it i don't know how i didn't test how far it could go down but i think it, it can go down to almost like a regular crop length i think also the back the back is where i'm undecided because the back fat is definitely showing so this is how it looks so you have this tie I'm reaching it, but up by the neck, and you have another tie down here. They're real ties. You have to tie them to get in here. And this is how the top looks on me. I'm honestly going to have to look at the footage to decide how I feel about the back, but I will say the straps, not the straps, the ties are easy to reach. I don't have a problem reaching around and tying them, like maybe some other things, just like too much. So it's easy to get on. Um, I also think, I'm trying to think, is this the top Sarah turned around? In her video so you might could wear this reverse can you i'm gonna find out because why not um that was a lie no you can't all right i'm back from a brief intermission on my side not your side of course i have this air pumping so much these nipple covers are about to quit on me but we do what we must so now we have the romper <laughs> So I got this in a one. I normally would get a romper in a two, but it looks so kind of big on the model. I was like, I think I want to get a one. I don't think it would have mattered because it has this to cinch in your waist right here. Like this is a real tie and you can undo or cinch it in how you want. So even if it was big, you could still get that waist defined, which is what I actually quite like that. I actually do like really billowy, although you might be a bit much but like bigger dresses that just have a cinched in waist i think those are really cute and comfortable as far as the chest 
I'm very much, I'm very much braless on vacation, but if I was going like out, out, I'm definitely, I'm moving a lot here. So I would probably do some sort of boob tape. I haven't quite figured out how to use it, sort of. I've done it like three times, but I actually, can you still see it? Come on. It might be kind of gone now, but I still have like the remnants of tire tracks from the last time I had boob tape on. So I try not to do it that often, but yeah, I would do something like that to hold me in place. Or of course you could just wear a strapless bra because the way it's sitting on me, this is closed, but actually we are open, okay? we are open and i think i would only get this more open if um maybe if you had a bigger chest to fill out the area or if it was in a smaller size something like that because this tie is also a real tie with the little tassels that's cute so i mean i guess yeah i could also just pull it like this and make the tie less tight right and that gives me a little more i don't know if i really want all that though to be quite honest because it's going all the way down here you know it's not bad well, let me pull this up this is supposed to be more at my waist and that's more yeah yeah this works clearly off the shoulder you might could pull it up a little bit but it's not going to be enough to cover a bra if that's what you were thinking plenty of room in the arms it's basically the rest is just room. The bottom, swing back up. It looks kind of like a skirt, doesn't it? But these are shorts. In the middle, they come up a little higher than they do on the edge. So I might would still wear some sort of anti-shaping cream. Here is how it looks in the back. Excuse me. You know what, with the blonde, I'm getting 70 something. I'm feeling a moment. Hmm. Maybe I should try to do a photo. But this is, yeah, this is super cute. This is a good, I love a romper for a good put together, but actually didn't have to do that much to look like something type of outfit. So that's what we have here. All right, y'all. I just wanted to show you that I did pick up this two piece. It's like a crop and a skirt, but in the words of future, ain't no way, okay? Um, the skirt is kind of on, but it's not really zipping. The shirt, it was a no. And I think this is a testament to checking your fabrics before you purchase because there's no stretch in either one. And that definitely means size up over in Kiana land. So yeah, my bad. I just wanted to show you that I got it, but it's, um, it's not about to happen. So hopefully this last piece is, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be stretchy. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Okay, that's apparently that's the only way. All right, guys, I just had to come sit down. Hopefully it's not looking too raggedy and all of my secrets are still hidden. <laughs> but yeah, this last dress didn't work out. I'm a little sad about it. It's like this dress. I'm going to insert a picture of what, it's, of what it's supposed to look like right here. But the problem was right where the skirt attaches to the bodysuit, this little line, there's no stretch. So I couldn't get it over. And then the bodysuit doesn't have any clasps because I thought maybe if I could, um, what did I say before? I couldn't pull it up over my hips, but I was thinking maybe if I could pull it down, that might have worked. But there was no bodysuit clasp, so you couldn't get pull it over your head either. But I do like this enough that I'm going to see if they have a bigger size online. But the fact that this has no stretch, I'm not sure how much a bigger size is going to help me, but I'm going to look and see. So that is it guys. I hope I don't look too sweaty. Truly props to you other big people who be doing them 20 to 30 piece hauls because I'm ready. I'm about ready for the ambulance. So big ups to you. Can't be me. Lessons learned from shopping because you know what? I actually had it in my mind that I was thinking of doing a shop with me video so I could show you how I shop for clothes. But clearly I need to go back to the drawing board. Um, lesson number one, if it doesn't have, I don't know what percent of spandex, but a decent percent, size up. Um, that's really where I failed. Some of these crop tops that just have no stretch, I need a bigger size, and I should have just noticed that when I was purchasing. Hey y'all, so it's been a few hours since I filmed the try on, and I've been able to settle down and get out of the crazy mode I'm usually in when I film those. And I realized, you know what, if you're interested in shopping this collection, it runs small. It runs small. Because I was definitely sitting here like, 
did I go up a size since I did my last haul like two weeks ago or a week ago? And it can't be. I thought, no, I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. It runs small. So I would say get a size up in everything except maybe the jeans. Those I feel like are still true to size. But yeah, because I was like, I am not tripping. I feel like that's really all that went wrong on my side. And then, yeah, just that last dress that didn't have any stretch in the waist. Um, and the first tube top that didn't have a hook and eye closure that I think would have held it together more. I found a lot of the pieces in the collection to be really, really cute. So, like more than I expected. I only got, I want to say I got about half of the collection here, give or take. I may get some different pieces when I look online now because they do have a decent sale happening. Even though, like I said, a lot of stuff is sold out or sizes are sold out. So I'll have to see, but I'm going to check. And I am making like a TikTok alongside to this. So... I'll probably update you on Instagram or Reels if I do get something in another size and just show you how it looks there. But overall, yeah, many cute pieces, not a lot of spandex, but some really cute items. So congratulations to Sarah once again. Um, I don't know if I said it in the first place, so maybe congrats for the first time. <laughs> And that's gonna be about it for me. Let me know what you thought about me filming in my living room. I'm probably not gonna do this again, but I do wanna set up over there eventually. I think I wanna try to make that my filming area. So I'm gonna see how the lighting looks in here. I'm not sure what it is, but I feel like this ring light, maybe it's making me go a little blind because I, I feel like I can't see, but it's not dark. So I don't know what's up with that. Anyways, y'all, if you liked the video, please like the video and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. I haven't forgot about my Black Fat Girl Try series. I do, I have an idea for one, but it might take a minute because I'm really prepping for Blurred Con and I'm lightly considered, oh, I don't know how you say it, Otakon, Otaku Con. I'm not sure exactly, but that's only two weeks later. So that's taking up a lot of my time, plus something else, which I hope I can accomplish in time for something, but we'll see. So with all that being said, I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.